I go to the gym three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have improved drastically since going to Moscow and having the treatment. Um, initially, my bad leg, which is my right leg, um, I could only lift seven kilograms of weight. And my good leg, I could lift 34 kilograms. I've now got my bad leg up to 30 kilograms and it actually, I can get it onto a machine and use it alongside my other foot, uh, which initially I couldn't do. It's significant improvements and that's within three months. I think I started going in January um, and it's now April. My name is Mary, I'm Sean's mum. I was very worried before Sean went to Moscow for his treatment. Um, I was firstly worried about how he would manage getting there and on his own. I would have liked him to have had company, but um, once he arrived, he rang and told us that he was all right and that everyone was very nice to him and helped him tremendously. Um, I was worried beforehand in case it wasn't all true. I was worried that maybe um, it was a scam and that uh, he had sent money to an unknown source um, and I was thinking that he would perhaps not be met at the airport and all the things that could go wrong that go through a mum's mind. So I was very pleased when things went well. So when he returned, we met him at the airport and I was so pleased to see him so happy. Um, he told us small things that had happened, but when he told us the whole of the fortnight that he had been there and the procedures that he'd had and how he had felt afterwards and they were all of great benefit to him, we were waiting for a fall, but fortunately, he was on the up and up and up all the time. And you could tell how excited he was about going over to Moscow, even though it was over Christmas. And um, he was like, oh, we can just do all our Christmas plans. When I get back, we can have like a Christmas and New Year all together. And then when he came back, he was saying that he'd been poked and prodded, and but he was glad he'd done it. And then he said instantly he felt better and like he said about him like crying and like when he did his leg, when he could lift his leg up. And, but when he came back, he was just so excited to sit there and like to show me that he could like lift his leg over his knee. That's the one thing he just wanted to show me, which he couldn't do before. I was diagnosed in 2009. Uh, with benign MS. This quickly became re-diagnosed re uh, and became relapsing remitting, which meant that my leg would just give way for no apparent reason whatsoever, and I would just end up falling on the floor. I chose Swiss Medica for the simple reason that there's nothing else in the UK. I then started to look on the internet again for um, private clinics. Again, in the UK, there's absolutely nothing. Um, so that was when I then thought, well, I'll look abroad, I'll look elsewhere. And uh, I found Swiss Medica, found their website, found that everything was absolutely sounded absolutely perfect. And um, so I took it from there. I, I, I applied, I uh, had a, a reply straight away and it was absolutely brilliant. I was struggling with um, bowel and urinary problems. That meant that I wouldn't go out as often as I'd like to do because I, I, I just, it restricted everything that I did. My walking was becoming um, consistently worse. Um, I was only really able to walk for up to five minutes uh, and that was with a walking stick and with an ankle brace. Um, so it was really, it was really starting to affect my life. I was feeling that I was, I was really felt as though I was an 80 year old in a 50 year old body. And now I feel like I'm a 50 year old again. 
and um, it has made so much difference that I'm able to walk further. I st it's still not perfect, but it's I'm 80% better on my own admission, and um, that to me is it, it's it's just it's enough. I, I'm more than happy with that. It has changed my life, and you really can't put a you can't put a value on that to anybody and i would recommend it and i do recommend it to to anybody before the treatment i had to hold on to the handrail and literally pull myself up because my leg wouldn't bend and it wouldn't give me enough um power now i can walk This is where I keep my walking aids. First one is my ankle brace, which as you can see, I no, no longer need. Um, it's, it was quite, quite, a, quite obstructive, uh, stopped, stopped a lot of movement, but it was very good when I needed it. And I've also got my walking stick. Um, which again, I no longer use. And I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2009. Um, my disease has left me with a, prof a profound limp on my right leg. I've had slight bowel and um, urinary problems. Um, so and so since coming to um, the Swiss Medica Centre, um, I found that the treatment.